Hi guys, welcome back to Northern Whimsy Art Studio. Uh, we are doing the mosaic salmon kit and this is the second video, the grouting portion. So in the first video we glued on all your pieces um, and then we waited at least 12 hours to do our grouting. You weld bond dry is clear so you can see that it's not, um, I would not grout until your, until your glue is totally clear. You in your kit you should have for the grouting portion you should have a sponge, a popsicle stick, a cup of grout, and I'm using one of my little cups that the glass came in to for to dip my water. You need to provide your own little tub of water to rinse in. Something to keep in mind is you don't want to rinse grout down your drain, so it's good to dump it outside. Um, don't dump don't dump the grout down your drain. It will eventually dry and clog your drain. This amount, this portion of it would not, but over time it would. So just something to keep in mind. So I'm just gonna add a really tiny bit of water to my grout. So I actually added about half a cup of water. It's not quite enough, but start with half a cup and then just keep dribbling in slowly. You want it about the consistency of peanut butter and it's really easy to get too much water into your grout and make it too thin. So I'm scraping all the way down to the bottom in this cup and getting it all mixed in, all those dry pieces that get stuck in the corners. So I actually just said or did what I said I, or just did what I said not to do and added just a little tiny bit too much. So it's a little bit runny, but that's okay. That's this is this is a lesson that you have to have to do with grout. So just know that if you do add too much water, it's not it's not the end of the world. What you're gonna do is let it sit for a little while until it thickens up some. This is okay though. This isn't this isn't too bad. This is a little thinner than what I'd like it, but it's okay. So you can see that it kind of drips off of there, but you want it to be a little bit thicker than thicker than this, where when you fling it, it takes a little bit to make it come off your stick. But this will be okay. So you're gonna want to let it sit for just a minute to let those dry pieces soak up the moisture and really um, really mix in well. For this video, I'm gonna go ahead and get started so it's not not too big of a deal. So I'm gonna take my grout and I'm just gonna lay it on top of my mosaic piece. And I have gloves on right now. I am going to try and provide gloves in as many kits as I can, but I haven't been able to find boxes of gloves in town. So um, you, may, <clears throat> you may not receive gloves in your kit and you'll have to provide your own I'll do my best to get those to you, but just depends on what I can get for supplies. So I'm just pushing that grout down into my piece in between the glass pieces. And I'm going around the edge and just filling in the gap between the glass and the wooden piece. I'm not doing the edges. On some of the mosaics that I've done with with people in the past in our classes, I have uh, wood pieces that I've cut out and you there it's wood color. These ones are black, so it's actually really nice. It's a really nice finished edge. I've been buying these from Arctic Design Co. They're out of North Pole and they're cutting these pieces for me. Um, and they do a really nice job. So these ones, you don't have to finish the edges like you do with the ones we've done in previous classes. So that's really nice. And just working my way around, pushing it into those cracks. And so you're covering up all your pieces, but you're gonna come back in and clean it all up, so. A little more grout there and it's already starting to thicken up in the cup there so just a couple minutes will thicken it it definitely you don't want to walk away from this project in the middle of grouting your grout will dry on you you want to make sure that you when you start grouting you have time to finish your project so I have my sponge here I'm gonna take my sponge and dip it in the cup of water I'm gonna make sure that I really wring it out well. I don't want any excess water on this. I want the sponge wet, but wring it out really good. And I'm just wiping over the edges, and as I see places that don't have grout in it, I'm just wiping, wiping grout back into it. So you wanna make sure those lines are filled in.
And it's really fun when you start uncovering your glass pieces and seeing what it looks like with the grout on it. So I have that top. I'm not going to wipe too much on that top. I'm going to let that dry for just a minute. I'm going to rinse out my sponge. And I have a piece of paper underneath me just because of the mess, obviously, that you see the grouting makes. I'm going to take my popsicle stick and I'm going to start cleaning out that mouth area. Just push that in there. Opening up the mouth. And if you have Q-tips, toothpicks, any type of smaller tools, it can help you to clean that up. The popsicle still will work if you, if that's all you have, but it's kind of nice to have a little Q-tip to kind of um, clean that inner mouth out there if you have one. A pencil will do it too, just a little sharper, sharper tip. And I'm just going to these cracks and stuff using this popsicle stick too. Clean up any little areas that have little grout pieces. And then um, you're going to want to take a, a tissue, or I'm not a tissue, I'm sorry, a rag and clean up the glass. So a dry t shirt, a rag. This is a paper towel. Paper towel will work fine. I forgot to grab my t-shirt rag that I usually use but paper towel work fine too you just got to be careful that you don't catch your paper towel on on the glass and it may, leaves little pieces so you're just going to clean those up as you go but a t-shirt works the best or old rag you don't want to use like a terry cloth or anything with with a lot of uh, texture to it because it will take the grout out of your in between your pieces So as you can see, the color is starting to really show on that. And already, you can see there's a little haze forming on the glass pieces there. Once that once that forms, you're going to take a dry t-shirt, totally dry. This one's a little bit damp, but you're going to take a dry rag or t-shirt or paper towel and just start buffing that. And it's going to um, really make those pieces start to shine. You'll see what your finished piece will look like. So you'll keep keep wiping until but wait until it's a little bit hazy and then it'll start to shine when you wipe it. And you're gonna have to do this two or three times, so let it sit for about 20 minutes and then come back to it and wipe it again. Thank you so much for purchasing your kits. If you have any questions or feedback for me, I'd love to, love to hear it. You can either message those to me or post it to the Facebook page. And just keep cleaning it up. And that's all there is to it. Thanks so much.